Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oops. Good day, lovely people. How are you doing? Happy Sunday. I'm going to wait a few minutes see if anybody joins. Nobody joins. The Holy Spirit and I are here. How are you doing? Happy Sunday. <clears throat> happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. How you doing? Can you imagine it's the last Sunday in November that January um, 2022 is almost over. Wow. Thank God for seeing us from January to November. Thank you, Jesus. Ha! Some people that we started the year with are not here anymore. Can you imagine? Lord have mercy. Can you imagine? Oh, God. Have mercy. you have done for me oh lord i am very very grateful i want to say thank you jesus oh lord i am very very grateful for all you have done for me oh lord i am very very grateful i want to say thank you jesus all right good people um doesn't look like anybody's gonna join so um i'm gonna get right in so today um happy sunday my name is jacqueline ayo davis another episode of challenges to divine favor i thank god for an, uh, another opportunity to come on live to talk about jesus christ um today i'm not gonna be um like i've not been doing long lives i've been doing short ones and today is no different and if you see my post i talk about um first kings 1846 it talks about um elijah if you read the book of um kings where it talks about elijah very good um biblical story um it talks about um, Elijah calling down rain from heaven and how um, Ahab got on his, was telling Ahab to go, to try to go before the rain started. And Ahab got on his chariots and it's believed that um, Ahab one of the, had one of the fastest um, chariots in the um, biblical days. And Elijah, God gave him such supernatural strength to be able to overtake um, the, the, the chariot. And he got to the entrance of Jezreel before Ahab. And um, Apostle Joshua Salman is a um, world-renowned man of God. A lot of people have heard about him. And he was preaching the other day about um, at this Oasis conference with Pastor Nathaniel. And it's like sometimes when people, um, we read the Bible, no matter how many times you read it, it's like every time you get new knowledge about it. So Ahab, he talked about speed. And I took hold of that word, word because he also talks about Issachar. He said Issachar are uh, um, people in the Bible that knew times and seasons. You see some people's lives, the way how they're going, because they, God has given them such wisdom, strategy, strategy to understand times and season. Some of us, some delays have happened in our lives because we have not paid attention to the times and the season because God lives in eternity and we are here in on earth so he has given us times for things to happen um at every stage of our life but because we are not aware of times and seasons we sometimes miss out on a particular time we sometimes meet, meet out on a particular season on things that like um god um has given us or told us to do for example now i'm thinking about going back to school i use myself as an, as an example 
I'm thinking about going back to school. The, I got my master's degree back in what 2008 2009. We're now in 2022. So just imagine if I had paid attention to times and season, focus. Okay, God, what do you want me to do now? That's about what 2009 to now 2022. That's about um 11 13 years so i could have gotten a master's i could have gotten phd i could have gotten um any more like maybe two or three more masters if i wanted to but where my focus was god alone knows <laughs> can you imagine where my focus was and i don't even have i don't have no excuse i don't have no excuse really I only um uh my mom is the only person that I, I I really take care of it and then my father but he's passed away now, and it's like my me and my sister we, um, we, we like it's not like it's not like it's everything is on my shoulder. My sister, my younger sister helps, so I really don't have didn't have no excuse not to go back to school. So, but if we are aware of times and season that okay, you are looking at your age, you are looking at the time, like. Um, a lot of things that we could have accomplished would have accomplished it, but because we are not um, focused or we are focusing on the wrong things, but we thank God that we have a God of another chance that he gives us many chances. He helps us. He restores time. He would, um, he would, um, he says everything that the canker worm, the caterpillar have stolen, he will give it back. So he was saying, like, move with speed now. So I was like, no more delays. God tell you, the Holy Spirit tells you to do something. Move on it. Be obedient about it. Don't waste time anymore. I was like, look like we, we woke up. A lot of people have died untimely. Look at this man, that um, guy, this musician. I just saw this man last month. Okay, what just happened? I mean, my car, everything just went off. So, um, we are, we are in, like, in the dispensation where we really have to know what time and what season we are supposed to be doing things. Because, can you imagine, like I was saying, uh, Minister Sammy, this man, I just saw him um, last month. I saw him last year. I saw him last month, but I didn't take a picture with him. And we wake up Friday morning, they say he just slumped over and he died like that. Can you imagine? Only 51. I thought he was even older than that. So, um, I pray that with the um, um, Apostle, as Apostle Joshua, his mama was decreeing, receive speed. Receive speed. Like whatever you were supposed to, like whatever I was supposed to have done in those 13 years. I pray that God will just um, put all together. And maybe in the in the next couple of years, whatever I was supposed to have achieved in those 13 years, God will just put everything together and and um, I will accomplish it even faster than I would have done it in those 13 years. That is my prayer. So receive speed in the name of Jesus. Receive speed. People always say that and um, um, delay is not delay. Sometimes some delays can be denied. Some delays can be denial. I don't, I'm like, no. Today, we receive speed to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. No more delays. No more setback. No more in the name of Jesus. Like I was telling my mom today in, a, in when we were driving. I was like, I said, for example, talking about people, oh, you are not ready for marriage. You are not ready. Yeah, for the, for those social media marriage, yes, you are not ready for it. But for if two people, when two people come together, and that they are made up their mind that this is my husband, this is my wife, we are going to duke it out. We are going to work on this marriage for it to be sustained. Because nobody is born a husband, nobody is born bo a, a born a wife. It's when you get married, the two people come together, then you start to know your what. What you like, what you don't like, what we need to compromise, what we need to compromise. And God, at the center of it, one thing for sure is that make sure you marry somebody that you can communicate with. Marry somebody that is your friend. That whenever anything is going wrong, you remember first your covenant with God. And then you remember that you are friends. 
because they, like we nobody is ever going to ever um, know the anything like really about marriage. Find out what the person's love language is and what is your own. You work it together. Even your family members, family members can can fight, can argue. What about two um, different individuals from different backgrounds coming together? Of course, there will be some times when you will not agree, but you will learn, like, okay, to love and respect each other, to work out those differences through communication. So I'm like, like, ah, may God help us. For me, I said that Father God have mercy upon me. Any miss, I will say this prayer, every mistake I have made in this lifetime, from the time even from my mother's womb, because you say you knew us before we were in our mother's womb. So from the time I was even in my mother's womb, you know, any mistake that she made when she was carrying me, that transferred to me the fetus, that even up to this age, any mistake, I say, Lord, turn it into blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it is not your will for me to suffer. It is not for your, your will. You, you, you give us rest. He said, for nothing be anxious with prayer, with thanksgiving. And supplication make your request known unto the Lord. So we make our request known unto the Lord. He said, For nothing be anxious. This is what the word of God says. So we are not anxious, we are not um any kind of anxiety. He said, Um, as soon as our will lines up with his, he give us the desire. He said. Um, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. We, not, we serve a good God. He's both the lion and the lamb. You know, he's our I am that I am. So, uh, like, I'm like, Father God, I receive speech from now until eternity. When I see you face to face in um, uh, maybe in like hundred and over a hundred years. Over a hundred years. Because now we don't even look at our ages. We don't some of us we don't look at our ages. Like I'm like I am I'm I'm, I'm I'm God has blessed me and I thank God because He has frozen me in time. He has frozen my age, He has frozen my looks, He has frozen everything about me in time. So I give him all the glory and all the honor for that. Because we don't, we in our family, most of us don't look at our age. We have to tell you how old we are. And even when we tell you how old we are, you will not believe it. And for that, I give God all the glory. You know? So today, um, this, this um, life might be all over the place. But I just came on to tell you today, no more delays in our lives in the name of Jesus. We are moving with speed by the blood and through the blood of Jesus Christ. God has girded our loins and given us supernatural speed in the name of Jesus. I saw somebody um something in somebody's stories and I shared to my he said God can do a lot between now and the same. Of course, in 24 hours, in a few seconds, by the time I even get off this um um um, um life, God must m- m- must have done something to, that I'm like, wow, only God can do this. As a woman of God, Pastor Leslie will always say, only God can do this. <sighs> to God be the glory. So, I uh, thank God um, for your lives. I thank God for j- you, the people that join. And if you are watching the replay, God richly bless you. I pray that you would um, will continue to move the gospel of Jesus Christ forward. And continue to be obedient to what he has called us to do. That this season of our lives, we move with speed according to the will of God. The Bible says that he is a, in Hebrews that he is a rewarder to those that are diligently seeking. So when you are diligently seeking God, he will definitely reward us. He will definitely reward us. We just have to learn to spend more time in his presence. And I've been reading this book, um, Prophet Stephanie recommended, Unbroken Curse. I started reading. I've been trying to read it from the time I ordered it. Like, I think either it came like a couple of days ago. I, I can't remember. So I finally took it yesterday, like around midnight. Ha! Ah, 
up to like 3 30 i said oh i have to get up to go to church let me put this book down i am telling you sometimes we unknowingly bring things into our homes bring things into our lives we are not even aware of that we have opened doors i say god have mercy upon us i know that my pastor sometimes pastor Gipsy can be talking about it be careful what you bring what you buy even when you go to like these thrift stores and stuff be careful when even even you go i started to think now because whenever i travel or somebody travels i tell them to bring me back a souvenir i um, i love magnets like i collect magnets i started to think now i have not brought anything into my home <laughs> you know that has opened doors that is now disturbing my life i pray that god will open our eyes to see whatever it is that we have brought in our homes whatever it is that we have that we have allowed but about we thank god for the blood of jesus christ that we are the cost breakers that we because of us our families have broken through in the name of jesus we will not give god any rest jacob said i will not give you any rest until you bless me so when god blessed him he turned his name from jacob to israel so that i pray that today that god will bless us with speed receive the overtaking anointing in the name of jesus we will understand the times and the season in this dispensation when the holy spirit speak to us we will hear that we god has given us the spirit of discernment in the name of jesus in this season i pray that god will help us to spend time in his word that he open all of our senses because our five senses that we have our the, the, our sight our um, 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 um smell our taste our hearing those our five senses one two was one two three four and touch that we will not only be using it in the physical we'll also use it in the supernatural because you know that we are on earth to fulfill the purposes of god everything about us fulfills the purposes of god so I pray that God will help us in this dispensation to be discerning in the name of Jesus Christ. To hear the word of God. To listen to what God is saying to us in the name of Jesus. And we will move with speed. Like I said, Father God, like now, I thank you that you have given me another chance. That this 2022, my latter has been greater than my former. That everything I've lost, especially financially, you have restored for me and i give you the praise the honor and the glory and i know that this is just the beginning that you have begun in my life that is more to come than the that i am walking in ephesians 3 20. ephesians 3 20 is he will do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to our faith although sometimes our faith can waver so me sometimes when i'm praying i say father god i come in agreement with the holy spirit because if you come in agreement with the holy spirit ah, holy spirit is our helper you come in agreement with the holy spirit is our helper of course he has to help you jesus can say i have to go so that the helper will come so me when, when i'm praying because sometimes um we can be in agreement i can be in agreement with my like my have one of my brothers that I, I i pray with sometimes be in agreement with him i have one of uh, some of my sisters that i pray with too agreement but out utmost when i'm praying by myself i say father god i come in agreement with the holy spirit right now i come in agreement when you come in agreement with the holy spirit he has to help you because he's our helper so try it if you are a believer, you know the Lord Jesus Christ, you have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Ask him when you are doing, like sometimes easy as like, Holy Spirit help me. I have not, I can't find something. Holy Spirit help me. Holy Spirit, I invite you into this my room right here. It is me and you. Holy Spirit, he's always ready, but we just, he just needs for us to call us. We just, he just needs for us to call him. He is always ready to help us. So I pray that this week you will, you receive the spirit of the overtaker. You receive speed in the name of Jesus. That whatever it is that has um, delayed, no more delays in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive speed. Receive speed. Receive speed. 
He said, remove Elijah's name and I put my name. And me, Jacqueline, I overtook the chariots of Ahab. Put your name there. The scripture is for us to use it for our situations. Put your name. Put your name. I'm like, ah, enemy, the enemy doesn't get tired. He knows that his time will be up soon. So he will delay you. He will make you become, want to become frustrated. He will want you to become anxious. But he is a liar. The devil is a liar. Whatever it is that God has said about us, it is our set time of favor. As a man or woman of God declared for the fasting this year. Prophet, there's less year, Apostle Dominic. And my church, the year of the outpouring. Speed. All of this combined together. Hey, God. If God, if God doesn't come for come through for you, we are always calling Jesus Christ. You are talking about Jesus. Everybody, me, everybody knows me that I don't play with my my, my Jesus Christ. <laughs> everybody knows Jacqueline does not play with her Jesus Christ. So you know, if, if 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 God doesn't come through for me, not to me go shame. Oh, now go now go shame. Eh, now go now go shame. Because eh, this what Jesus, Jackie, what in this Jesus Christ don't do for you? Ha! Ah, you not see? I, I haven't. Sorry, I keep I switch between Creole and English. Me, I have seen it in my life. I would, if I want to tell you my testimony, I will tell you my testimony. Maybe I would, one of these days, I will come on live and I will share some of my testimonies with you. But for now, we serve a good God. He will never put us to shame. We will never put us to shame. Apostle Joshua said, my Pastor Dodd says, quarter to shame, the Lord will come through for you. And I have seen it. I have seen it. I have seen it. Ah! To God be the glory. God is good, I'm telling you. And Apostle Dodd preached last week. He said, um, in order for God to do a miracle in your life, there has to be a problem. Because if you don't have a problem, then why, why do you need a miracle? I say, wow. Huh? Hey, Jesus. But anyway, all our problems are over right now. <laughs> all of our problems are over. We received the avalanche of miracles. As the problems were coming one after the other, so right now we receive the avalanche of miracles. They are coming one after the other in the name of Jesus. By the time we are saying, praise the Lord, ah, God has done it in for one. Another one collect. Another one collect. Another one collect. Testimonies after test. We have already gone through the test. Now we are receiving the test, the money. We have we have received the test. We have gone through the test. God has. He said, "Ye do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death." We are walking through. We have walked through. So, ha! So God be the glory. So I was saying goodbye, but I'm like, wow. God has come through for us. It is our time. It is our season. We are over, we are the, the spirit of the overtaker. We are the repair of the bridge. Not bridge or bridge. So that bridge, you know when somebody like there's a breach of contract. Somebody has to repair it. So in Isaiah, I posted in my page. We are the repair of that breach. We are the, the, the generational repairers. Ah, ah God. Hmm. If not over God, who shall we go day? Who shall we go day? And my sister's uh, Victoria's song, Jehovah do me well. If not for now, if not over God, who shall we go day? Who shall we go day, ba? Who shall we go day? If not over God, who shall we go day? to god be the glory great things he has done hallelujah 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 thank you jesus so make it a blessed and awesome week we thank god for this 2022 we thank god that he has kept us from january to here in november we thank God that he is the El Shaddai, the Adonai. We thank God that he is the I am that I am. We thank God that he has um, restored our years. He has restored our time. He has torn our shame and reproach into blessings. 
thank God for Jesus, as my mom will say. If this life is all over the place, you get the point. We receive speed. No more delays, no more setback, no more stagnancy, no more procrastination. No more in the name of Jesus. We move forward. Ha! We move forward. We move forward. The man of God said, I push you forward. We, we move forward in the name of Jesus. By the blood and through the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank God for speed. I receive the spirit of the overtaker. For God has exalted my horn like the horn of a unicorn. I will stand upon my high heels in the name of Jesus, by the blood and through the blood of Jesus Christ. Ha! Ah, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! It is our time, oh, it's our set time of favor. The set time of favor. The time to favor you and me is now. We will not give God any rest like Jacob until he bless us. We will not miss again. Anything that has made us to miss times and seasons, we will not miss it again in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for doing it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, good people. Thank you for your time. God, we should bless you. I am living now for um, real. <laughs> and by God's grace... Next time we'll see again, God willing, will be the first Sunday in December. Can you imagine? And that is my birthday month, the best month of the year, December. Ah, 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 ah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I will come on live on that day because I have to dance to the glory of the Lord. In fact, I'm going to start dancing on Sunday. <laughs> start dancing on Sunday. In Jesus' name. All right, good people. God bless. My name is Jacqueline Ayo Davis. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram and also on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. I really want to start going live on my YouTube channel. But it's like, you cannot go live on your, um, cannot go live on your mobile device unless you have a certain amount of followers or sub subscribers to your channel. So, um, We'll see what happens. All right. God bless. Ah, rest in peace, Minister Sammy. So sad. Uh, if only we could see, like, to know these things sometimes. Like, ah, be careful. Like, some things God reveals. That's why God reveals in part. Ah, God reveals in part. Oh, he reveals in part. All right. In Kuyo, send me where can I made a go. I came, I saw, and I conquered. I'm rambling now. So, all right, good people, God bless you. Um, please be sure to like, comment, and share. My information is in my bio. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your time. God wish bless you. Bye bye.